Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to import Zoho CRM data to Airtable via the free data fetcher extension. So in order to do this, you do need a Zoho CRM account, but it's really simple to create one for free. And then for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import a list of deals from Zoho CRM into Airtable. And this can also be used to import other data from Zoho, such as contacts, leads, or events. So before we begin, Zoho CRM is a customer relationship management platform used to manage leads and combine customer support activities and marketing all on one platform, as you can see here. So in order to begin, today we're going to start on our Airtable base. And we're going to dive right in by titling our table. So just over to the left-hand side, you'll see table one. You can double click this and change this to Zoho CRM data, nice and simple, and select save. Nice. Then we're going to install our data fetcher extension. So over to the right hand side, you'll see this extensions button. If you select that, it will pop up with this blue button that says add an extension and the following screen will load where you have a search bar that you can just go ahead and search for data fetcher and that should pop up automatically. Here we have the data fetcher extension, select add and click on add extension. Now you have the option of either creating a free data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Now it's time to import our data. So select the big blue button that says create your first request and you'll arrive to the following screen. Here, we're going to retitle this request as Fetch Zoho Deals. So up here where it says request one, simply retitle this like so, and for the application, we're going to search for Zoho. Now you'll notice that this will either have the option of .com or .eu. So double check where you are. I'm currently on .eu. So once you've checked that, you can select your option here, and then we're going to click on the new Zoho CRM .eu or .com connection. The following will pop up asking if we agree for Data Fetcher to access the following information. You can simply select accept. And that is now connected, as you can see with that status. For the endpoint, we are going to select list all deals, really nice and simple from that drop down menu. But again, you have the option of what you'd like to choose here. Then we're going to select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now we arrive to the following screen and we have the option of fields and therefore which fields we'd like to include. So for this example, I am going to include deal owner amount. So you can also just type that in and it will pop up like so deal name. Or again, you can click in there and that will pop open so you can choose from all of them. And now we're looking for closing date, which is right there, and also stage. And I'm just gonna type that one as well. Nice. Now this custom view option allows you to only import specific deals. So for example, all deals, deals closing this month or new last week. However, we are going to leave this blank, but that is for your preference. Then we'll make sure that the output table and view is our table and grid view you before we select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. So now we arrive to the response field mapping and this is where you can choose which fields to import from your deals in Zoho CRM. So here you have the option to turn toggles on or off simply by switching that green toggle to gray or you can select filter all to turn them all off which I recommend you do. Then for this example we're going to add the following fields. Owner email so we can see that here. Deal name we can turn that on as well, amount, stage, ID, and closing date, as you can see here. But you can also use this find field option to search for that. And when you search, it should pop up and you can turn that toggle on to include that in your fields. Now for each field you import, you can either map it to an existing field or you can map it to a new field. So we're going to have a look at this amount field here and make sure that that is a new field mapping to amount. And from this drop down menu, we are going to select currency. 
And although I already said it, do make sure that you have this ID field turned on. This is really important as this ensures your data is syncing properly. After you've done this, you can then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, those fields are now being mapped to your Airtable base. Amazing, so we'll arrive back to our Airtable base and as you can see, all of that information has now been imported into this space. So we have one last step to do here. In order to ensure Data Fetcher is able to match up items in Zoho with records in Airtable, we need to go ahead and navigate to our advanced settings option in the Data Fetcher extension. So if you open that back up, Data Fetcher will automatically pop up to the following screen where we have that pre-saved request that we've already created. If you click into this, you can see all of those settings that you've already chosen here. We're going to scroll down to the option update based on field. So if you continue down to your advanced settings, you can then open that up and continue down until you see that update based on field. And here we're going to select ID from the drop down menu, like I mentioned before, so that we can make sure that Data Fetcher is able to match up those items in Zoho with the records in Airtable. Then we're going to select save in the bottom right hand corner and we can close that window over. So as amazing as this is, we would still need to manually click run in Data Fetcher to import any updates to these Zoho deals. So it is actually possible to run this request automatically at regular intervals using scheduling. So I'm going to teach you this as the final step of this tutorial. So from your Airtable base, you're going to open up that extension again and that data fetcher will pop up automatically without you having to do a thing as you can see here. And we're going to go back into those settings that we've already created and scroll down to the option schedule. Now you will only see this if you have already upgraded to a paid data fetcher account. So if you haven't yet done that, I really recommend that you do so that you do have this option available to you so that you can have your records updating automatically without you having to do a thing. So once you've upgraded to a paid data fetcher account and you can come back to this step, you should now see it like so. And it's really simple from here. So all we have to do is select the add API key button and click on the button that prompts us to bring us to our Airtable account overview. Here you will see that generate API key button. Select that to create your API key, which you can scroll down and find here. Copy it and paste it back into that Airtable input box like so. Then select save and you'll see this automatically turns on the request for this to be scheduled. And now you can select how often you would like for that to happen and even on which days. Then select save in the bottom right hand corner and close over that window. So hopefully today you have learned how to import Zoho CRM data to Airtable via Data Fetcher and how to run those requests automatically without you having to do a thing. But if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to us here at datafetcher.com where we also have a blog on this exact topic that you can read as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.